Hi guys, another one of my old solar projects that I want to tidy up, make it look a little bit more presentable. Um, again, it's a circuit board or a circuit based on one of those little, uh, what do they call them, trimmets or... Um, I can't remember what they call them. Beam bots. Ah, remembered eventually. Solar beam bots. They charge up from the solar panels, charge up this capacitor, and then there's a flashing LED in there which triggers a certain voltage. When it triggers, the capacitor discharges through that little electric motor. Now, I've got a arm on it or a hand to make it look like a clock going round. Uh, it's not quite bright enough at the moment. If I shine a light on it, you'll see what happens. So, I have it in mind to tidy it up a bit. Basically, stick it in one of these uh, Christmas decorations that I picked up in Poundland either last year, the year before, or even longer ago than that. It's actually a glass dome. I was quite surprised. I was expecting it to be plastic, but that is glass. Uh, it's got a little um, button cell in it to light up that LED. Well, I'll take these trees out and I'll take that out and then I'll mount that inside somehow with the solar panels looking out one way or the other. And I might, instead of having the hand there, I might even put one of my little um, granddad is an old man logos on there so he turns round slowly in the sun. That's what's in my mind. First thing I've got to do is try and get this glass dome out of there. I think it's hot glued in place. If it's hot glued then I'll just dribble some uh, rubbing alcohol or as I use surgical spirit. With a bit of luck, that'll get between the glass and the hot glue and release it, and then we'll be able to lift it off. Uh, this project will probably be done in several parts and then added together for the video, because it's, um, it's time for our tea or evening meal. So I'll get started on this and then finish it some other time. stuff. It doesn't dissolve the hot glue, it just wicks between the hot glue and whatever it's stuck to and releases it. Probably best referred to as a release agent. Anyway, I'll get on and do that all the way round, see if we can get the top off and then do some more work later. Well, that actually worked quite well. <laughs> there we go. Right, well, as I say, it's our um, evening meal time, so we'll finish this some other time. Apparently I've got a few more minutes. They're actually quite loose.
got space under there, but I don't think I need that space. In the last one I did, I used that to put the electrical circuitry. But in this case, I'm just going to sit that on top of there. glue that back in the middle there somewhere and find one of my little logos well at the moment that's turned into a bit of a disaster on both of these little glass panels the wires have dropped off the back off the solder tags and I cannot re-solder onto them. So I'll have to replace those panels. That's annoying. Because the rest of it is fitting together quite nicely. But I'm gonna have to replace those panels. Curses. Right, I can't find any more small solar panels at the moment. I'm sure I've got some if I look hard enough. But I've just grabbed one of these that I recently bought on eBay. I think we can see the general idea. So I'll have to have a search. But that'll do for now, at least I can see the general principles okay. My little granddad can spin round inside the glass dome with no trouble, there's enough clearance for him. But that's not the final panel. Just enough sunlight coming in the window at the moment. Yeah, I'll find some of the right size panels and we'll rig it up properly at some other time. I think I got quite a few of these tiny ones out of the solar rockers. I could probably put half a dozen of them, or two or three of them at least, around the bottom. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.